Stephen Wynn, thank you very much for joining us. Well, from that last shot where you're sitting on the edge of a cliff, <laughs> you obviously don't suffer from vertigo. In any way, in, in life, At least in I business. Did, I didn't think I did. <laughs> you didn't think you did till you were up there. <laughs> I mean, I would never dream of doing that, but that, those 30 seconds have become kind of iconic. Well, um, you know, you want to have a pre-opening TV spot, and it's before the hotel is ready for interior photography. And I talked myself into getting up there and sitting on the edge of that 640-foot wall. Uh, so, so are you slightly crazy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's put it that it certainly calls into question my judgment. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I realized that when I was up there. It was a warm day. It was about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. And the sun was in my eyes. And the helicopter comes up very close. It's the helicopter that was in True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's the helicopter from Cliffhanger. It is a very famous French pilot who does most of the Hollywood high altitude close-in work. Good Lord. Yeah. And uh, No, but excuse me. Most people have stuntmen in those movies. You refuse to have a stuntman. There was a stunt coordinator there. Who but was, you did it yourself. Yes, and he was crouched down behind me on a, on a catwalk for window washers. And I was a bit nervous. And he looked at me. He said, look, Mr. Wynn, if, if your heartbeat goes up, don't feel self-conscious. He said, they wouldn't let anybody do this except one of us. So <laughs> if, if you're getting a flutter here, it's OK. But want you to know that we've made everything safe. And this pilot is the best. And I said, OK, OK. And we did five takes. Five and takes. Five, so it was a long time. Five, <laughs> yes. And each time, the helicopter came up, and we were under the blades. and. Didn't you feel the wind and the noise? The pilot is so skillful. He right. adjusts the blade so that your hair doesn't blow. Really? Yes, right. he does. It's that quite amazing. amazing. And amazing. he looks straight ahead. The camera is in the nose of the helicopter. And it has a case on it that's like a mirror, like a one-way glass. So there, the helicopter is not, not much different than the distance between you and I. Good. And you're looking oh. in the mirror as if you were shaving in your bathroom. <laughs> And you see yourself there, and, and you say, oh, my. Was this what this was? Uh, yeah, yeah, but it was. It was an amazing, uh, and it drew all the attention. It was shown on Super Bowl as well. Yes, it? It, 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 it accomplished its purpose. It did. It, it, uh, it, it made you say, uh, well, that's an interesting. There's a hotel there, right. and uh, they're, a bit, they're, a bit, they're a bit blarmy. And, you yeah. know, and, it's different. Yeah. And that's what Las Vegas is all about, I guess. Exactly. But now, talking about vertical, you were on top of that. You were safe. You came down. But now with the economy the way it is, you must feel uh, it's a different kind of vertical. You're kind of over the cliff, falling. You're going to bounce back. Not you personally, the, the country. Well said. Different kind of vertigo. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. And our yes. current administration uh, uh, accelerated it with some irresponsible behavior that's hard to explain. Right. But in the next six or eight years, six or eight million Americans are coming due for Social Security, the group that's known as the baby boomers. Right. We have 53 trillion in unfunded liability. That is to say, our government has made promises to its citizens that it could not keep. I remember when Social Security was passed, of course, it was before I was born, but in the 30s, when Franklin Roosevelt established Social Security,